What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Horror After Dark YouTube channel. If you aren't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for post notifications. Me and Austin don't want you guys missing a single one of our videos in the future. And today, guys, we're going to be talking, breaking down, reviewing pros and cons for the 2021 horror movie, The Cursed. It dropped this year, but it did release a little bit early at a film festival in 2021. So we're going to be talking about it. Uh, so, of course, you know the drill. Three, two, one. One, get out of here. The wolves are behind you. Okay, with that spoiler warning out of the way, let's begin the show. Uh, we meet John McBride, the main character. He was sent in to help Seamus and Isabel, a husband and wife that ended up, uh, well, not Isabel, but Seamus and his buddies ended up killing a ton of gypsy people because they had a claim on his land and everybody in there had something to lose. Well, uh, that ended up cursing the land. And then we meet Timmy, a badass little kid who ends up causing a little bit of trouble, I suppose. Charlotte and Edward, which is Seamus and Isabel's uh, kids. Anais, uh, Seamus and Isabel's maid. And the gypsy woman and her friend who's not tagged as a credit in the movie for some reason. And I wish I was kidding. Her name's literally just Gypsy Woman. But anyways, guys, with that quick introduction out the way, I'm going to have Austin uh, sit here and talk a little bit about it. Austin, what would you think? Uh, well, I mean, overall, I thought the movie was awesome. I loved the whole concept. I love how it took place in 19th century France. That's where we are in this movie. I mean, the atmosphere and the setting made it felt like you were there. But I have a problem with this movie. All right, what was the problem here? Let me let me it hear said, it. It said it was the scariest horror film in years. With me. Okay, let's get it. The scariest, the scariest horror, horror movie horror in, film years. in years. My ass. ass. No, you it know. was not. But I will say, though, it had its tense moments, especially with the people in the field looking at the scarecrow. Oh, dude, that whole dream sequence stuff. If you guys haven't, it is very abundantly clear after Seamus and all of his elders and friends kill the gypsy woman and the whole tribe of gypsies that all their kids and everybody in the town ends up having dreams about a scarecrow that was one of the gypsies that had his arms and legs cut off and he was turned into a scarecrow. And then they buried the gypsy woman under him with the silver teeth. We'll get into that in a minute. But basically, everybody in the town would have dreams about the scarecrow, about the gypsy woman finding the teeth, and then something bad would happen. And it happens over and over throughout the first half of the film. And the silver teeth, to me, this is going to be one of my cons here that I'm just going to bring up right quick. The teeth thing made little sense to me because it, it felt important in the beginning. And then it just ended up turning into, well, OK, the teeth was uh, made of silver given to Judas. And if we melt it, it turns into like a repellent that scares the werewolf demon things. Yeah, I'll go ahead and say right now, I didn't mind the demon wolves, but I thought the overall design of the creatures though demon wolves whatever you want to call them i wish that was done a little bit better yeah yeah you know what i totally agree to that and apparently every kid killed by the wolf or anybody bitten by a wolf ends up turning into one and if you're a kid and you die to one apparently like if they cut open the stomach, there's a scene in the movie where Seamus, Alfred, and, like, John McBride all cut open, like, one of the wolf demons and, like, find or Alfred's little girl in it that's, like, turned completely evil. I thought that was a really cool scene. Dude, so did I. Like, the whole scene of him having to, like, cock back his gun and shoot his daughter. Like, okay, you know what? It sounds a lot worse when I say it, but it was a cool scene. It was a cool scene, and to people out there that haven't seen this movie, I'll go and say right now, I'm kind of jumping the gun here a little bit, but if you like A Nightmare on Elm Street and Evil Dead, then you will probably like this movie. I would say this movie is more of an Evil Dead type witch uh, type vibe, you know, the movie Witch, like that, or that newest horror movie that's like came out or something. It came out a couple of years ago and they used all natural lighting in it. It was pretty cool. We should review that one time. But, yeah. but like, yeah, this movie really did feel like Evil Dead mixed with Witch, and I really enjoyed it. But 
I will go ahead and talk about the ending of the movie right quick, and then we'll get into the pros and cons here, because there was a twist ending here, and I want to talk about that right quick. Uh, in the beginning of the movie, we see a soldier who has a piece of silver fall out of him, and all the doctors are like, this is not a German or like bullet or something. And then after that, the movie picks up. And here to figure out, at the end, we all know the bullet was the silver bullet made by John. And at the end, or the mom, Isabel, lets in one of the wolves into the church that the whole community's been hiding in at the end uh, because she hears Timmy in it. Well, or not Timmy, she hears her son Edward in it. Well, Edward comes in as a wolf and kills everybody, and then the mom, Isabel, stops uh, John from shooting it. But, but my boy John doesn't give a fuck about that. He literally just shoots right through her back, blowing a big hole in her chest and killing the wolf. We're here to figure out at the end, uh, the wolf died and Edward came out unharmed because, well, the silver bullet prevents the kid from being evil at the end. Uh, if you kill the wolf with a silver bullet, is my guess. Well, anyways, uh, the bullet was lodged into Edward. And as you guess, the dude in the beginning, the soldier, was actually Edward that died and that's where the silver bullet came out at out of him at the end but john mcbride does die at the end too because uh he takes charlotte and edward to live with him they take care of him he dies they're all grown up yeah blah 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 edward dies because he was a soldier and yeah that that's the ending but austin let's go ahead and hear your pros real quick Okay, the pros of the movie, I loved the setting, especially since it's 19th century France. It felt very good, very gritty. Um, the characters were great. Um, I loved John McBride. He was awesome. Um, another pro that I have was, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but the twist ending. I thought the twist ending was great. I don't know how you feel about it, Joe. We'll get to your pros and cons in a minute. All right. But the cons in the movie, um, we had the demon wolves. They looked great. That's one of my pros. But one of the other cons that I have is the demon wolves design could have been, could have looked a little bit better, in my opinion. Yeah, they kind of looked like aliens. Yeah, and plus there were some backseat characters. And you guys know how much I hate backseat characters. Fuck the backseat characters. Hop out the car. <laughs> so those are my pros and cons. Joe, go ahead with yours. Well, it's funny that you brought up because some of your cons and pros were actually some of mine. You said you like John McBride. I put John was a G. <laughs> uh, also, the twist ending you brought up, I I brought it up as well. The twist ending was cool to watch play out. Like it, you're super confused in the beginning, and then you're like, oh, now it makes sense. Like at the end, and it's just fun to see that break down and come out. Uh, visually appealing, as Austin said once again. It, you would you would think me and Austin copy each other's pros and cons, but we don't. We don't even tell each other our pros and cons until we read them off here. But yeah, the movie was visually appealing as hell. Like France, just very nice, and like the fire burning the house down, amazing. Characters were acted and portrayed well by their casting, and I absolutely loved each and every character. The wolf looked cool, though, but as Austin said, I or well, as I'm saying, the wolf didn't look like a wolf. It looked more like a demon, but I do agree with Austin. They look cool. My cons for the movie, the movie was a little slow uh, for me in the start, meaning it's a slow burn. Would have loved to see more of the Scarecrow and Gypsy Woman. Like, we all seen the Scarecrow multiple times in the movie's trailer and everything, and it just ain't there for more than, like, three, four, five minutes of the film. Uh, fact, the I agree. Thing, That's actually one of my cons as well, come to think of it. The teeth thing made little to no sense, and the movie seemed to stray away from what it was a little too much, in my opinion. What I mean by that is it was supposed to be, like, about a curse, you know? Like, the curse was there and all, but, like, we, like I said before, the Scarecrow and Gypsy Woman just wasn't in, and it just felt like a werewolf movie after a while, not even a, a curse. Most characters besides the main few are just forgettable, even with decent screen time, like Alfred. So much more could have been done. Anias, the maid, so much more. Edward, 
after the first like 20 minutes of the film, he's gone till the very end when you realize he was the one that died <laughs> in the beginning of the film. Like so much more could have been done. Charlotte, like, or that's uh, Seamus and Isabel's daughter. Like, bro, could have been more. But Austin, I just want to hear your overall rating for this movie. Now, before I get to my overall rating, I want to read off the ratings that like the movie database websites have gave this movie. You know what? That's fair. Let's hear it. So Internet Movie Database rated it a 6.3 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes rated it a 73%, 62% on Metacritic, and 78% like this movie. Now, my question to you is, do you agree with those ratings or do you have a different rating? Well, you know what? Since you asked me that, I'll, I'll go ahead and give my overall rating. I gave it a 6.5, an above average film with a cool lead character, but the story falls flat and it just ends up kind of becoming a bland werewolf movie to me. Like, there's a lot more cooler werewolf movies out there, but this one had a badass main character, which really drove up the score. Without John, I would probably give this movie a 4 or 4.5. He yeah, bumped plus, it up like a oh, 2. Mm -hmm. And plus, giving our pros and cons, I was going to give this movie an 8 out of 10, but I now have to lower my rating to a 6 out of 10. Slightly above average. It wasn't too bad, actually. But like you said, all that could have made the movie a lot better. Now that yeah. brings up my question. What's what's the question? With you giving it, with us giving it like a 6 to a 6.5, do you give this movie a watch or a pass? I'll give this a maybe a one and done. Watch it once. I don't think you need to see it again. I agree. Just I mean... Me, for me, I agree. It's a one and done. Just watch it <laughs> once and don't watch it again. Yeah, there's just not much to take away from this other than like John McBride being a badass, some werewolves getting some cool kills. But even the werewolves, uh, like there was barely any kills in it until the very end when the wolf broke into the our, the church. That's pretty unfortunate, too. Like we seen like 15 people die in that church, bro. It was pretty bloody, but... I, I did like the part, one of my favorite scenes, and I will add this as a pro actually, was the scene where they had to escape the burning house or the burning mansion and make it to the church and they were out in the dark and having to sneak around. That was cool. That was really cool. I like that. But like, that's not going to be enough to bump it up from like a 6.5 to a 7. It's just going to say a 6.5, but like... This movie was okay and decent, but now we're just going to hop into the Daily Austin plug. So, you know what, Austin? Actually, my bad. My bad. I mispronounced it. We changed it to the Nightly Austin plugs. Yes. Let's get into the plugs. All right. So, we gave our thoughts about this movie. Now, we want to hear your guys' thoughts on the film. Let us know in the comment section below what you guys thought of the movie. And also, let us know if me and Joe missed something out. Maybe we missed something important. Let us know in the comments what you thought. And if you missed our previous video, <clears throat> click that link in the description box below. Check it out. And overall, guys, I know it's been three weeks without a video. We're happy to be back. We're happy to have the support from you guys to keep us going. And if it wasn't for the support from you guys... We wouldn't be here! Exactly. So thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that you've done for us. And Joe, is there anything you want to add before we sign off? uh as austin said guys thank you for the support uh we will be having another problems video coming out next it's going to be the problems with the movie the curse of la Llorona. that movie was terrible i i don't want to hear it from anybody in the comments and if you do make some valid points as to why i should like this because this movie was terrible after that me and austin will be starting our first movie uh franchise for the channel which will be the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We already are talked about this. I want to rewatch some of them, give my thoughts, and maybe just make a big old video talking about the entire franchise as a whole. Just call it Talking Texas Chainsaw Massacre Franchise. And just make it like a long-ass video of us talking about like every movie. I or just break them up into individual videos since we yes. already got the first uh the first one and the new one done. But yeah, anyways, also, guys. Real quick before we go, and also guys. October, Chucky, season two, season two. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it. I love you. Austin loves you. Y'all can love each other in the comments. And yeah, we'll see you. And I guess we'll see you very soon, actually.